Hi guys, in this video I want to talk about Germany's demographic winter. What I mean by demographic winter is basically the rapid aging of the population. And as it currently stands, Germany is the second oldest country on this planet, right behind Japan and right before Italy. I don't really consider the countries, like the very small countries, Monaco and the territory Saint-Pierre and Miquelon as a country. So um, as it currently stands, Germany is the second oldest country on this planet. So what is the goal of this video? I want to show the current demographic situation in Germany and then in a second step I want to make predictions about the demographic situation in the future. In the second part of the video I want to show the consequences of the demographic winter for the retirement system, small cities and rural areas in Germany and then also the consequences of the demographic winter for the workforce and the value of work and lastly I want to talk about the consequences of the rapid aging of our country uh, regarding migration and what it means uh, for migration to Germany. Yeah, so what you can see here is uh, it's a statistic, like an interactive statistic from the German Federal Bureau for Statistics, uh, DE Statis. And uh, what you can see here is the population pyramid uh, in actually we're some years ahead in the year 2021. So on the current year, or let's say we are 2022 right now. Yeah, and uh, what you can see is um, uh, what 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 catches the eye immediately is uh, this bulk here. This is the baby boomer generation, and uh, between the ages of maybe fifty, uh, fifty five to maybe seventy, something like that, or maybe even a bit older. This anyhow, this is the baby boomer generation, and then what is coming between the ages of fifty five to maybe I don't know forty five is the um, Generation X, and then uh, after that is uh, uh, my generation, the millennial generation between the ages of 40 to maybe 26 or 27. Depends on how you define the generation. Anyhow, what you can see is that the, the baby boomer generation is by a wide margin the largest generation in Germany, and then we, the, the, the millennial generation is also quite big. We are, we are the children of the baby boomers, and then after us there is nothing coming there is like a huge dent here and uh, like this is generation alpha and uh, this generation they're the children from gen x and there are just so few people like to compare we have here 700,000 people and uh, here we have 1.1 million people so it's almost double the, the birth year yeah not quite but y you get my point like we have just so so little people and then if we go into the future 10 years you can see that uh, uh, now the baby boom generation is in retirement age and uh, uh, let's go back here we see that 20 percent of our population is above 67 uh, years of age and if you go into the future for 10 years, this rose to 24. And then uh, we go again to the future, it rose to 27%. So, um, yeah. Um, so in the next 20 years, like the, the elderly population is going to rise in 7%. And maybe you think 7% uh, is not that much. Yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a lot. I mean... Uh, like this, this is roughly the working population, 56% compared to what we have now, 62%. So we have 10% less people and we already have like a huge um, lack of uh, workforce. And currently we are also in a very dire situation. 
but we used to be in a much better situation maybe 20 years ago okay not so much but uh, like uh, the more you go back in time the the, the larger the, the, the working population is basically and uh, it's going to get worse like every every year we have a decrease in the working population basically and yeah it also depends on the uh, net migration and birth rate and stuff like that if you have like a low birth rate it's going to be even worse you get the point. So what are the effects of the demographic winter on the retirement system? Of course they are tremendous because uh, the older uh, the population gets, the, the more people will obtain retirement benefits. And uh, as we currently um, see on this graphic, um, in 1962 we had uh, six people in the workforce for each retiree. And this went down to only 2.7 people uh, in the year 1992 and uh, in the year 2019 we only had 2.1 people working for each retiree and uh, of, of course uh, it's obvious that this effect is not good because uh, less people will have to cover for the costs of uh, even more retirees and uh, the, the current predictions they show that in 2019 uh, 20 six percent of the federal budget went into the retirement system and if everything continues exactly like that in 2040 44 percent of the budget will be spent on retirement uh, benefits only and this will even decrease increase to uh, over 55 percent in the year 2060 and i think it's obvious that this uh, this huge percentage of the federal federal budget going into the retirement system will render a society very very inefficient and basically um, you can't afford anything else anymore than to cover for for the elderly because you yeah obviously you have to now i want to talk about the effects from the demographic winter on rural and countryside germany um, those effects are quite big because like there is a huge tendency for young people to move to the cities for example on this map we see Germany and uh, we see the percentage of the population that is above 65 years old in 2019 and as you can clearly see like uh, the, the countryside is much bluer than the cities for example um, there is a light blue color in the city of Berlin or in Hamburg or in Düsseldorf or in Munich but like uh, the countryside around the cities especially in eastern Germany but also in West Germany or in North Germany is quite blue like a dark blue and this means there is a huge percentage of people above 65 years old and uh, now we come to the next graphic and then we can see um, uh, the percentage of, um, of uh, young people between 0 to 20 years of age and the, the redder the, the color the more young people we have and you can clearly yeah this is this is the prognosis uh, for uh, the growth of young people until the year 2040 and you can clearly see that in the cities like Hamburg Berlin, Leipzig, Munich, Stuttgart and uh, Frankfurt and Cologne and Düsseldorf and Münster you can clearly see that uh, uh, the young people are growing like th there will be more young people in the cities but basically everywhere around the cities especially in East Germany there will be no more young people because they will all be leaving to the cities and uh, w what we have as a result is a dying countryside, a dying rural Germany. Small towns and small villages, they will be inhabited by old people. And there will be no more young people. And this has tremendous consequences for the society as a whole. I mean, basically all the life is moving to the cities. And uh, the cities will be like in, in, they will be very expensive in terms of rent and you, you will have such a vastly different life there and uh, yeah so what you can see here on this map 
is uh, the, the prognosis for the overall population in Germany uh, based on several different communities. And this is the prognosis for the year 2040. Uh, and uh, basically, um, the more blue a community is, the less people will be living there in 2040. And you can see again that like cities like Berlin, like if we click on Berlin, uh, it takes a little while, then uh, you can see that uh, in the year 2017 we had roughly 3.6 million people there and there will be 3.9 million people in 2040. So there will be a population growth of 10%, which is quite big for Germany. And then, for example, if we go to like a, a very bluish community in, in, in the countryside, uh, you can basically see that this community has a decrease of 21% of population. Like, th th there's a huge decrease in the, in the countryside communities. And uh, this, is, this is quite a huge effect on, on, on the whole of Germany. And for example, uh, yeah, here we have 24% of the population will be gone until the year 2040. And uh, you, can, you can clearly see that, uh, like that the cities they will be growing and also the areas around the cities will be growing uh, and also in Hamburg and in, in Münster, in uh, Düsseldorf, and then in Cologne and then uh, in, in Frankfurt especially, for example Frankfurt, the, the city of Frankfurt, it will be growing by, by 12%, like uh, almost, yeah, almost exactly by 100,000 people. And then what is also very interesting to see that this general decrease in population is affecting all of middle and northern Germany except the cities but in the south of Germany we have like a, a general growth of population for example around Munich and in, in almost all of Bavaria we have an increase in population and the same applies to uh, Baden-Württemberg so um, yeah this is very interesting to see and uh, uh, I think this is a very nice graphic from the Institute for Room Planning, Construction, uh, and so on, like a federal institute. Okay, now I want to talk about the effects uh, from the demographic winter on migration. Uh, of course, uh, Germany um, as a country, we, we have like a very huge industry and we are dependent on young and good educated workers. And without young people and with uh, more and more people in retirement age, we have a huge lack of people that are working. And uh, so what we see in this graphic is uh, uh, like the, the blue um, line represents the actual growth of the German population, including migration. But if we didn't have migration at all, then what we would have is the orange line or the yellow line that we see. And without migration in the year 2020, we had roughly 70 million people. So 12 million people less than we have uh, in reality. So you can see that uh, migration already is the main factor responsible uh, that keeps the German population at the same level. And in the next graphic, we see um, very easily that uh, in the years, uh, in the years uh, from 2014, 2015, 2016, we had a, a huge number of migrants or refugees for that matter. And uh, uh, of course, like a, a civil war like in Syria is uh, not going to happen uh, all the time. So uh, regardless of whether we have like a, a net migration due to like a, a war somewhere, um, we, we will always have like a huge hunger for young people and good educated people coming to the country and uh, without that um, Germany will not be able to to uh, keep its productivity at the same level and uh, yeah I think uh, this is uh, um, also leading to some to some uh, conflicts in a way because um, you will always have to train and to integrate people from outside of Europe because um, uh, the, the people that are migrating to Germany are mostly um, uh, from uh, other continents and it takes uh, it, it has some huge costs to um, 
integrate and to basically make those people productive for the industry.